Hello dear gastronauts, come with me. Welcome, welcome one and all to Scrim Cook Stuff. And welcome one and all to my humble kitchen. And believe me, they don't come any more humble than this kitchen. This kitchen is small and yet we can do quite a lot in it. Now, why am I doing this podcast? You might be asking yourselves. Is it so I can swank off about all my fancy gadgets? <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, I've got very little in the way of fancy gadgets. Is it because I want to show off my cooking skills again? No. Um, probably one of the most simple cooks you can imagine. But I've got a lot of mates, a lot of friends, who have said that they're going to do something like this. They're going to do a cooking YouTube video or podcast, and they never have which is a great shame because they're better cooks than I am, as I've said again. So I thought, I'll do it. And maybe it'll inspire them to uh, put together a video or an audio recording like this one is. And we'll get them in the kitchen and we'll see what wonderful things they can cook up. Or maybe they'll, they'll come on here and show me how to make something wonderful that they can make. Now, it's... About sunrise, you know, here in the in the Scrimshaw kitchen. It's about 20 to 10. Uh, I've been lazy again. I've got up late. So I want something quick and easy for breakfast. And there's nothing quicker and easier to whip up than a couple of pancakes. Do I mean whip them up from scratch? Oh, no. Too much like hard work. You can get them out of a packet. And that's exactly what I've done. The variety of flavours is outstanding. And these are proper pancakes, not round lumps of cardboard. And if you'll permit me, I'll just get mine out of the cupboard here. And I told you the amount of flavours is absolutely astounding, and it is. I've gone for chocolate chip ones, and these are actually quite big. Um, now, usually with a plain pancake, I'd be getting the lemon out, I'd be getting the honey out, because you have to have something on a plain pancake. And in fact, I might be indulgent and put a bit of honey on these at some point. We're doing them in the microwave uh, because they take so little time in there. Let's just get rid of this. This is proper cookery podcast. Uh, oh, well, it's all live and we're knocking things over and throwing rubbish away. I haven't got a, a glamorous assistant to help me. I'm doing all this on my own. So, our pancakes are in the microwave. The bigger the pancake... Little, little taste there of chocolate chip. Um, the longer they take to cook, they smell really nice as well. Um, yeah, the, cooking is very sensory. There should always be a lot of sniffing, tasting, touching. Because when you're in the blind world, those are your three guides. So yeah, the bigger the pancake, the longer you want to cook it. So I'm going to do those for two minutes. I'm going to do those in a second. But the next ingredient to the breakfast of champions, to a Scrimshaw breakfast, or to a Jack Scrimshaw breakfast, at any rate, you cannot, you absolutely should not have breakfast without a cup of coffee. And again, the amount of ways to make coffee in this modern age is absolutely incredible. The, the amount of choice you have available to you, the amount of styles and flavors and milk types and goodness knows what else so i want to make something that's quick and easy as i've said it was a hard night's sleep so i am going to use my tassimo machine if you haven't got one of those i highly recommend it i'm going to go through the process with you here so your pods usually come in boxes and you usually get two boxes in a pack for the more fancy coffees you get a milk pod and a coffee pod and what we're going to do is place this pod upside down um, we've lifted up the lid of the machine the lid isn't all that obvious on this particular machine but if you are looking at it if you're facing the machine the lid has sort of a round circle on it like a big round face or a little fat belly if you will, on top of the lid. So we take our coffee pod, um, take the old one out, of course, and put it face down, making sure that the little tag on the pod is facing towards the right 
of the the little holder for the machine. And on the back is another lid. We have our water tank, and this tank is empty. That's not going to make anything at all. So. I've been electrocuted, you'll know why. There we are, it's filled up the jolly old water tank. And that sort of slots in over the back, excuse me, slots in over the back. And then there's a button toward the right of the machine. And apparently this button is festooned with little bright lights. Um, it feels like that anyway, uh, I believe it is. And you press that and the machine does its thing. Meanwhile, back to our pancakes who are sitting, waiting patiently for us in the microwave. High power microwave, two minutes. Yep, that's exactly the setting we want. Start, high power So microwave. we're gonna let them do their thing. And in a matter of mere minutes, dear astronauts, the happy moment comes. Man's happiest morning moment, the chance where he can sit back on his sofa in his castle and uh, partake of a, a good breakfast. And pancakes really are a good breakfast. They set you up for the day. They're nice and solid. I have been known to eat as many as four, but I'll just have two today. Um, porridge, also a good breakfast, especially if you're doing a workout. And we'll go through how simple that can be as well. My thing with cooking is I want to make it as simple and easy as possible. I don't want to be fiddling about with pinches of that and and sachets of this and, and all this other nonsense. I want to put things together as quickly and easily as possible. Now there are times where you will need to fiddle with sachets of this and pinches of that and potions of the other. And it'll be worth it. It'll be absolutely worth it. Um, especially if you're cooking for somebody else as I'm hoping I'm going to be able to convince a, a victim, I, I mean a volunteer, uh, to be able to allow me to do that. Because for my money there's nothing shows love for a person like cooking them a nice meal, especially when they've been working hard all day or if you know they've come for a visit. Um, you, you've got to put a lot of love into what you're cooking and, and it will show. <clears throat> It will show like a, a happy face. If you go around looking miserable all day, that shows on your face. If you go around looking happy, well, that shines through as well. And I believe that coffee's ready. So we'll just let it sit there patiently for a few minutes. And uh, there's the microwave. So I'm going to plate up and get on with eating this. Um, I'm not going to eat into the microphone. I think that's dreadful. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is leave you for just a couple of seconds while I plate up and get coffees and things over to the sofa. I haven't actually got a table. My flat is too small to, uh, for a kitchen table. Uh, but we'll we'll wander over and we'll have a little taste. Actually, we'll go into coffee preparation and, and I'll show you how to do a good Jack-style coffee. There really isn't a lot to it. Uh, for one thing, leave the milk in the fridge. You don't need it. Uh, I think whoever thought of putting milk in coffee um, was certifiable, to be honest. Well, yeah, it's two different flavours. Uh, a lot of people disagree with me, and that's fine. Um, fuel your body however you choose, and please enjoy it. Uh, that's that's the main thing. You, you enjoy what you enjoy, and enjoy it with pride. Um, but for me, coffee should be strong, black and containing just enough sugar although i'm cutting down on the sugar these days um, so there we are that's that's that done and just now i have my sugar i don't use packet sugar a very dear friend of mine uh who used to do a cooking podcast some years ago hint hint uh, <laughs> uh lulu hartgen um she got me into using sugar cubes and they are much easier they're much less messy they're just better in so many ways why would you overcomplicate the issue and they store well in a good airtight container which is what I have 
lined up on my windowsill I've got uh, the sugar the tea bags and I've, I've got cube sugar and I've got uh, packet sugar in a container as well for when we're baking in here or cooking teaspoon in the sink just like that it's the only horrible part the washing up later yuck <laughs> has to be done um, so yeah we have all those I do have instant coffee but I keep that in its own jar I used to keep it in another container with some pretty horrible results has to be said so I don't recommend doing that um, right, so let's bring this coffee here and ugh, I'm sorry, I'm so terrible on the in the ashtray um, so I'm going to get rid of that and yes here we go wander back through to the kitchen so we're nearly done with our first video here it was that quick it was that easy and I've just oh dear it's got some old coffee on my guitar still I'm trying to do three things at once here big astronauts and uh, yeah there we go we've lost the battle <laughs> I'm losing too much weight and uh, yeah Battle of the Trousers, there they are, they're back up, and uh, throw that in the dustbin, I'm going to have to tidy that up later. So I'm going to leave you, my friends, for just a moment, and we'll be back with the pancakes, and have a taste. Well, we're back, and here are the pancakes, and... Unfortunately, I've noticed they do have a little bit of a soggy bottom, and that's not something you want in the kitchen. The good thing with these chocolate chip pancakes, they are chocolate chips, so I've not had to put anything on them, so I can literally just pick them up in the fingers and have a little taste. Mmm. Delicious. Not as chocolatey as I thought. Excuse the eating into the microphone's there yeah not as chocolatey as i thought they're a bit squishy as well a bit of a soggy bottom um i have done these better i've got to admit but good enough for breakfast so i will say bon appetit and we'll see you next time this is a tribute to the late keith floyd god rest him <laughs>